Okay, and now we're on to the pud. So, kind of a bake your own, this one. So we've got some uh, puff pastry there that we've already sort of cooked. Oh, we have cooked. Got like a sort of spiced custard. So it's kind of like a Middle Eastern, a Middle Eastern bread and butter pudding, but with puff pastry instead of bread. And then we've got some raisin, almond and coconut with some rhubarb jam just to put on at the end and sweeten it all up. We'll rearrange these in a minute, nice and neat. So if you wanted to, you can make a bigger one. I want to do two individual ones, but if you haven't got the right dishes. Get a dish so I can get to all the bits. I think we'll put about half of this through now. And then we'll leave a little bit to sprinkle on the top too. So, it doesn't really have to be neat. Could get, could get fancy and maybe try. Oh, I I'm pretty happy. It just goes on like that. Well, with a little stir. It's just the fat from the cream. Hopefully melt down. Bit of an experiment this, so we're hoping it's going to work. I'm sure it will. Okay. So in theory, in theory, they're going to take about 15 minutes, uh, somewhere around 200. So I'm going to put them in. What about 10? And then sprinkle those bits on. See, it's all gone. Like bubbly and golden, kind of all that's been absorbed by the puff pastry. So now we're going to sprinkle on the final bit of topping. I'm just going to pop that back in for maybe like another three minutes or something, and then they'll be ready. Mm, smells awesome. Nice coconut. Sermel coming off it. Then we just take our jammy rhubarb and just do a dollop on top. And that's it. <laughs> 